Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. I received my newest split cup. It came in a pack of four. And this one that we're gonna to use today is a five compartment one. These ones hold about 12 ounces. I picked them up because of the spout. It's wider. I know it's hard to kind of see, but everything just comes out nicely. It is a little dirty because I did take it for a test drive when you weren't looking, but that's okay. I've got, oh, how many colors here? Seven colors altogether and probably about 500 grams of paint. So our first color is turquoise blue and I'm gonna put all of it in the end cup here. Should fit nicely. If there's any left over, it will go into another one. Filled it up very nicely. Okay, the next we're gonna add cadmium red deep hue. I made my paint up yesterday. So it's been sitting, it still has a few air bubbles. I forgot to put them in my uh, pressure chamber that my husband got for me. I should have done that, but I hopefully it'll be okay. I just have to remember to torch. Let's scrape this red one out so we can get it nice and full and try not to make a mess. Oops, <laughs> a little bit went into the next one, that's okay. Okay, next we're gonna do, I've got brilliant yellow green, deep violet, white and black. So those are gonna go in these ones. And then I've got light blue permanent, which I'm gonna put in the end there. So let's add that one first. It doesn't seem to be nearly as full as the turquoise one. What is going on there? You want it nice and full. So yeah, these three colors in right now, I've got about a hundred grams of the colors. Okay, what do we want to put the yellow next to? The red or the light blue? Well, I kind of like it, like it next to the light blue. So in it goes. Hopefully these colors will look good together. I feel like they look good together. I'm gonna try and get as much of this as possible. Cause it doesn't even look like it's half full. Get a little bit more in there. There we go. We're gonna put white on top of that one. So titanium white. Oh, we gotta do this one as well. Give it a scrape. Try not to spill. 
I'm a clumsy person, so there's always a good chance that I'm going to spill. There, almost got it to the top. Not too shabby. Okay, and then we're going to put the deep purple next to the red and the green. So some of these colors I actually used on a different painting I did. Don't know if that video will go up before or after this one. But it was a four compartment split cup. See, told you I was clumsy. I got some of the purple and the red. Okay, and then we're gonna top that off with ivory black. And that way the black and the white will be next to each other. I got a little bit of paint left over in both the turquoise and the black. So I guess if I want to do my corners, I can do that. Move that out of the way. So we are working on a 12 inch level three canvas because it was the only 12 inch I had. Bought it on sale at Michael's. Can't wait forever to use your canvases. Okay, so I might not talk much as I'm pouring this, just more so I can concentrate on what I'm doing, but I'm gonna pour counterclockwise while slowly moving this clockwise, and then we're gonna spin clockwise. So let's find our center. Oh, there's the green coming a little bit. Definitely getting soft with the white next to it. Trying my best to keep my circles nice and even. Oh, that uh, light blue permanent. That's the dominant color. I think it's always neat that one color will be the dominant one and you just never know sometimes. I thought for sure it was gonna be either the turquoise or the red. I'm just wandering over to the edge. And the main reason for that is I want the end of this to not be seen once I spin it off. That makes sense. There. So that's going to spin off. That worked out very nicely. So I'm gonna add black and turquoise to the corners just to be on the safe side. I'll do them opposite. Sorry, this is gonna make the video a little longer, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Let's add some more to this side. Got the paint, might as well use it.
I don't want to have to worry about getting my corners done. Oh, I'm loving that light blue permanent. Very pretty. I know there's better tools that I can use to do this, <laughs> but the popsicle stick, it's working. Okay. Doorbell just ring, so I'm gonna go and get that. So hang tight. Okay, and just like that, I am back. That was a delivery for my husband. Not worried about the bubbles on the corners. Oh, I'm loving that light blue permanent. Sorry I'm gushing about it, but it just looks so good. Okay. We're just doing light spins. Get everything over. Oh, the green's kind of making an appearance now. Loving it. Oh, so pretty. Glad I did the edges. It's really helping that paint, kinda. Except right there, it's going all weird. Okay. Start spinning from the bottom. It's a little harder from the bottom of the cake spinner, but my edges are getting pretty nicely covered. What I'm gonna do there. Not sure why that doesn't want to come over, but we'll do that. Losing all that blue on that one side makes me a little sad. Oh, there goes my furnace. That, uh, yellow green with the light blue. I'm really liking those together. You can't see the purple. The purple is just gone. Like it never existed. Let's give it another quick torch. Okay, over on those two. Just checking my sides. This one need these two, just this corner needs a bit more. So let's give it another couple spins. That was kind of a weak spin. Oh, I'm so happy with this one. Yeah, one or two more spins and it's gonna be fully over. And I just noticed there's a little small amount on this side. So close to being over. So close. I'm just gonna help it out a bit. I don't wanna get my colors muddy by spinning too much. Add 
one more. Oh. We'll just get a little bit more on this guy. Okay. This is taking longer than expected. But hopefully that will work. Don't mind my furnace, if you can hear it in the background. One little spot. <sighs> this side is being difficult. There, that should be good. Okay, let's give it one more torch, and then I think we are done. I will pop any other bubbles off camera. But there, let me wipe my hands, see if I can zoom you in anymore. Edges are looking really nice, very happy with them. This corner is a little wonky, but that's okay. Gives it a little interesting thing to look at. Love the light blue. Again, still surprised that that, and I think the yellow green are the two dominant colors on here. Because that's really what's popping out for me. But yeah, I'm really liking this one. Very happy with it. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.